Welcome to Gap Advisors channel. This video discusses an example of non-compliance with Indies 1. If you are an auditor, investor, lender or employee of a listed company, after watching the videos on Gap Advisors channel, download the financial statements of the listed company and see whether the company has reported similar to that being discussed in these videos. If found, <coughs> make the company aware of the issues in the financial statements, enabling the company to excel in financial reporting in India. You may contribute your desired amount for the knowledge obtained by scanning the QR code given in these slides. A review of financial statements lets you know the degree of reliance you can place on the information in those financial statements. If you would like to get financial statements reviewed by GAP Advisors, you may mail them to info at gapadvisors.com. You may book a 30-minute online meeting slot for one-on-one -on -one consultation on Indes from my page on TopMeet. A link for the same is given in the description box. You can also submit your issues on Indies on gapadvisors.com. The response to the same will be delivered in PDF in inbox of your registered mail ID. In the previous video, I had commented that the other equity section of the statement of changes in equity presented by listed company has more than one issue and I discussed lack of presentation of separate line item for total comprehensive income for the period. In the other equity section of the statement of changes in equity as non-compliance with Indies 1 and Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013. Para 106 of Indies 1 requires transactions with owners in their capacity as owners to be disclosed separately from total comprehensive income for the period. This is not uh, required by Schedule 3. Hence, a lot of companies do not comply with this uh, requirement. Please note that the requirements of Indias prevail over those of Schedule 3. The company has not identified transactions with owners in their capacity as owners in the other equity section of the statement of changes in equity and hence has not complied with Indies 1. Due to this, the statement of changes in equity has been impacted. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this video was useful and you have contributed your desired amount by scanning the QR code for the knowledge obtained. If not, please do it now. If you would like to get your financial statements reviewed by GAP Advisors, you may mail them to info at gapadvisors.com. You may book a 30-minute online meeting slot for one-on-one -on -one consultation on Indies from my page on TopMeet. A link for the same is given in the description box. You can also submit your issues on Indies on gapadvisors.com. The response to the same will be delivered in PDF in inbox of your registered mail ID.